What's up guys? I've got the last of the Hikari Cichlid Gold that I have right now. i got to get some more. Um, but I, I wanted to show you guys a 75 gallon Cichlid tank and how dirty it gets in such a short period of time. Um, and just, I think I have a video posted of it all nice and clean. And uh, I just cleaned this tank not even a month ago less than a month since I really cleaned it did the filter and everything um, and I'll just show you how messy these guys are uh, so I'm gonna feed them real quick I'll dump this in and uh, hopefully they'll come out a bit I think they're already coming out a bit they must be a little hungry alright yeah I'll give them a little more they had some I ran out of this food a little while back and I had to freaking get some Tetra um, food, which I don't like Tetra food. And the reason why I don't like Tetra food is because the first ingredient is like wheat, wheat meal, wheat, what, there's like two wheat ingredients and then maybe some fish meal. Um, and that's why I don't like Tetra. I have nothing against the company, I just don't like the ingredients. Maybe those ingredients are fine. Maybe some of you guys feed a bunch of Tetra food and you'll love it. Um, but I don't. I like the Hikari because the first ingredient is fish meal um, instead of wheat. You know? Um, so I just think that the fish should have more protein in their diet, especially carnivorous fish than wheat, and I've heard wheat kind of plugs them up and will bloat them. I know it's like different in humans, but I guess fish aren't really made to eat that. Um, maybe some omnivorous fish probably wouldn't be a big deal. But, uh, hey, that's just my preference. So anyway, um, I think that's enough food. There's a good bit sitting down there, so those guys will probably clean that up here shortly. Anyway, um, let me back out. And you can see down here there's algae growing on the glass. Um, if I go in, there's some algae growing on that plant. Um, there is and some algae starting to grow on the glass. Like right here you can see it. Obviously the, bla the back has algae all, all over it. Um, I just planted this Amazon sword and it's hanging on by roots right now. That's it. <laughs> they dug that up. And I put rocks around it, mind you. I, all those lava rocks. I put all those la lava rocks all around that plant. And they moved them all and dug that up. And this is in the, the eco-complete substrate. Okay. Um, which is basically rocks compacted. I mean, it's the toughest stuff I've found. Uh, to keep them at bay. They're digging that up. Um, I had a floating, nice floating mass. <laughs> oh, I had a floating mass of uh, his dwarf baby tears or pearl weed. And, I mean, there's some floating in there all over. Yeah, there's some. That's what all the debris is that you see floating around. Uh, so that didn't work. So you can see the frustration with cichlids. I, I planted the dwarf hair grass. I mean, you can see that now over there. There's like one little piece of that that's not dug up. Um, I'm thinking one of these two guys has got to go. Yeah, he needs a new home. One of those two. Because I think that would slow down the mess. <laughs> But uh, there's an update for you guys on what's going on with that. And uh, if you want to see the video where it's clean, I believe it's the video I posted before this one. Um, not the Guppy Palooza one. But I think the other one. And uh, I was thinking about doing a little video of the fish room. Not just the tanks and like specifically the fish. But how I have everything set up. And what's changed and you know what's moved around. So if you want to get a video like that let me know in the comments and uh, I will do one of those but alright there's your five minutes 
here on a Wednesday, living the dream. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.